So the New England Patriots drafted wide receiver Nikhil Harry in the first round of the draft out of Arizona State, and I was very high on the pick. I really liked Harry. I think he's going to be a very good player in the NFL for quite some time, so I really liked the pick, and I was really looking forward to seeing how he will play once he finally gets some NFL experience. He got his first game finally against the Eagles. It was definitely in a limited role, and you know, he played okay. He definitely added some value. I wouldn't say he was great out there by any means, but he definitely added some value. It is also worth mentioning that they certainly did not give him a ton of snaps necessarily. He only got 32 snaps, which was just 43% of the total snaps. And granted, part of that was because you pretty much have Edelman taking on just about all of the snaps, and then you also have, uh, you know, several other receivers who are getting snaps as well, so... If you're only going to have two receivers out there, there's only so much snaps that can go around, but he was definitely in a limited role to say the least. And with just three catches for 18 yards, maybe you might say, well, okay, so he didn't really do too much, but I thought he had some good moments, and so let's just jump into it. This play, yardage-wise, was his best play of the game, where what's going to happen is it's going to be a cover three zone, but keep in mind, just the way that Philadelphia is lined up, it's basically just going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup because that's where Harry's route is going to be. And if you notice, just because the Patriots have so many guys, you know, right on the line of scrimmage, really Harry is the one receiver who is just apart from everybody else. This now means that Philadelphia has to have a conservative effort to make sure that they're stopping the run. And this means that if they do throw it to Harry, Harry could have that one-on-one -on -one matchup just trying to get in between the Philadelphia player who's deep. So it's a good situation for Harry, and it's going to be play action, and that is where Brady is going to look to throw this ball to. And as you see, the second he starts cutting, I mean, he's going to get pretty open. Again, part of that is just a situation of it's a good type of thing happening for the New England Patriots. So this is a good route to run against this type of coverage, so it's just kind of working out. But at the same time, Harry is going to finish this well. He does jump for some reason. He didn't need to jump there, so you don't want to do that because that is, that is kind of a tendency you will see receivers do sometimes, especially young receivers, is jump when they don't have to. It's not something you're really supposed to do. Just, just make the catch, but that's what he did. And hey, at the end of the day, as long as you make the catch, that's all that matters. But maybe next time, stay on your feet. Maybe you can gain some yards after the catch. But yeah, I mean, nothing too special there. He didn't have any crazy move or anything, but... A catch is a catch. He got open, you know. Yes, it was kind of a lottery situation. He just happened to walk into an area where he was going to get more yards. But at the end of the day, you have to make the easy plays before you make the hard plays. And he was able to make an easy play there. Maybe his best play of the day, actually, was a play that only went for a couple of yards. It was this one where what's going to happen is it's going to be play action to the bottom half of the screen. And then it's just going to be a screen pass to Harry on the top half of the screen. From there, New England should be able to have time to get their left tackle and left guard over to block those two Philadelphia Eagles who are closest to Harry, and then Harry can just try to run the rest of the way and see as many yards as he can get before a defensive back comes over and makes a tackle. But the problem is, look at right after the ball is snapped, notice that Philadelphia player, he is doing a great job of not getting fooled by this play action. I mean, you want to be in the same situation you are in, you want to be in the same spot that you are in, because... If you don't, then that can create some problems. Teams can take advantage of that. So he's doing a great job of not moving over, which seems like it should be easy to do, but it's actually very difficult. You just Your tendency is going to be you're going to want to follow the run, but he's being patient and making sure that he sees it's a run before he breaks over to the bottom half of the screen. So now because of that, when Brady turns around and hits Harry, if you look, I mean, this is just usually a terrible situation however watch this move harry is going to put on just a great move to just turn it from a loss of yards to a gain of a couple nothing spectacular but in terms of the physical play that was spectacular and that's kind of my biggest takeaway from harry is physically he has what it takes to be in the nfl and to be a great player in the nfl one of my potential worries is that because he did miss so much time it's going to be tough for him, them to really just help him grow as a player this season. It's kind of similar to in baseball when you'll see like a high level prospect get his first MLB playing time in the last month of the season when they expand the rosters. Sometimes you have someone who's supposed to be a great starting pitcher but you kind of just have to use them as a reliever in that situation because you can't risk missing the playoffs to try to help grow a player. And while the Patriots definitely aren't going to risk missing the playoffs, they're already 9-1, they do probably want to make sure that they get a first round bye, or ideally the first seed altogether, 
And if they try to grow Harry, essentially, and try to get Harry to be a position where he can be a number one receiver as quick as possible, it might take more than six games, and it might end up hurting you in the process. So they're probably going to just try to ease him into this season, let him be a role player this year, and then in 2019, that's when they'll probably try to have him be that true number one receiver. Although, I could be wrong. We'll have to wait and see. Although another thing that I liked that I was a little bit worried about when they drafted him was his blocking ability. Because in college, he did have some moments where he wouldn't get in the best position to block, but that did not happen here. He was able to block, at least in his first NFL game, pretty decently well. Like, on this play, he's just supposed to block the defensive back in front of him. Pretty simple. And if you look, his defensive back is looking over to try to get in position to make a play on the ball. He's trying to get a little bit closer to the inside of the field. And so for Harry, watch how he's going to counteract that and get in position to block. He steps down and then basically pushes him up to the top half of the screen. So he's able to take away Darby there. Nothing spectacular again, but at the end of the day, if you can turn your weakness into strengths, that's what you want to do. It was kind of a weakness in college, just him getting in position to make blocks, but clearly that's something that they focused on in New England, and for good reason. They want their receivers to block. If you're going to be a New England Patriot, you have to be able to do multiple things, and, and at least Harry can at least not be a black hole in blocking, then he can be a huge positive asset into things that he can do well. There were a couple of instances of, I'm not even sure I would call them negative plays, but just some clear instances of him being a young player, and this one was one of them where it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's him versus Darby, and that's his route. So, great route in a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's going to have a cut in it. You're already outside the numbers, so there's plenty of time before another eagle in the middle of the field could try to make a play on it. And also the angle for Brady. It's just going to be an easy angle for Brady to hit, and Brady's made a Hall of Fame career off of making those easy throws. He doesn't miss these types of throws, so as long as you give yourself some separation, you should be good. But one thing I would have liked to see Harry do a little bit is maybe make a move here or something. You see he's kind of going to step up, and he basically just runs straight to the top half of the screen after this point. It would have been nice to see him kind of fake as though he's going to the outside, fake as though he's running a go route perhaps, instead of just, he's essentially just letting Darby know, I'm going to be running a slant right here. In fairness, there was a little bit of separation, even though I talked Brady up, he actually didn't make a perfect throw, but it wasn't a bad throw either, and there just wasn't that much separation. It basically would have had to be a mailbox type throw, and it just, it wasn't quite able to be that from Brady, and Darby was able to make a great break on the ball. It was good defense for sure, but in the NFL, you're going to go up against good defenders, and if you want to be a number one receiver, you have to find ways to beat those number one corners. Again, far from a bad play, but kind of a rookie play, you know? I would have liked to see him make a move at some point. Julian Edelman would have made a move. Julian Edelman would have found a way to get open. And Harry, at this point, is clearly no Julian Edelman. Admittedly, most people aren't, but he isn't. And just to be clear, I think that's not because of the physical disparity. I think it's because of the mental disparity. I think it's because Edelman is a very smart player, whereas Harry... He has some growing to do in terms of the football IQ department. Not to say that he's dumb, but he's young. He's only played in 40% of one NFL game against NFL players, so he's got some growing to do. I think he'll get there, but I just I wonder how long it will take. That's why I kind of say maybe you let him be a role player, at least for a couple of games, to kind of get his feet wet before you actually try to have him be running these routes and really focus on some of the smaller things that'll turn him into a number one receiver. You got a tough schedule coming up. I mean, you have the Cowboys next week, who admittedly, I think the Patriots are significantly better than, but at the same time, I don't love how they match up against Dallas, so who knows how that'll work out. But So it'll definitely be interesting to see just exactly how they use him in future games. One other interesting play, this was his third catch of the day, where it's going to be a cover four zone, and that's Harry's route, which, so just looking at it on paper, there's only three Eagles who are in the middle of the field, meaning that... Harry could potentially get open just simply due to the fact that there's not many Philadelphia players in the area. And if you look, there definitely is some opening. However, Brady's in trouble here. Brady can't really make this throw. He has to find a way to get out of trouble first. But watch Harry here, and watch how Harry kind of just hangs out and does eventually make the catch, but he stayed in the same spot for a very long time, which typically I would say don't do. You want to keep moving. You want to find a way to get open. But at the same time, he already was open, so you don't really need to keep moving if you are open. I guess I could criticize him for it. Maybe I should criticize him for it, but at the end of the day, you make the catch, you make the catch. So I'm not really going to blame him too much. 
Maybe what I would have liked to see actually is him just run deep. He had some room behind him. Potentially he could have just gone deep, maybe gotten past the defensive back potentially and gotten open for a ton of yards instead of just for five yards. I'm sure that there's a way the Patriots are going to have him do something differently there. But at the end of the day, what you have to do first is make a catch. That's what he did. He made the catch. So at least they gained some yards. And again, that just goes back to the, him being a rookie, clearly playing like a rookie and not necessarily being an expert out there. He, he made some rookie mistakes. He did. But also that being said, the physical tools are clearly there. So if there's any coaching staff I trust to turn a physically gifted player who maybe needs to work on his football IQ a little bit more into a tremendous player because he now has good football IQ, it's the New England Patriots coaching staff. I have full confidence they'll find a way to use Harry to the best way that they can use him. I still think this guy is going to be a star in the NFL. It just might not be this year. That's the only thing. But yeah, that's what I thought of his performance. I thought that he himself is a very talented player, has some work to do, but I could see at the end of this season, or at least next season, him really turning into that true number one receiver that I said that he might end up being once he got drafted. But that's just my opinion. I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.